Hello comrades! It was long time that I didn't record a video in your favorite English-speaking channel about the communist movement in Poland. Uh, so today I will record and tell something about my activity in the last weeks because I don't want to to spread the impression that because it is it is summer because it is july and august that every students and uh, have holidays and uh, they are less active um, we we can find it in other uh, youtube uh, channels um, in english language that I am not the only one channel which is less active than usually uh, and I think that the other other channels uh, they have holidays um, I don't have holidays I am working and uh, I am less active in rebirth of communist channel because I am more active in other places um, as you see I am here with the title of the most famous Marxist book. It is in Polish language, Karol Marx Kapital. And I am recording audiobook in Polish language. I am reading all Kapital. So now in Odrodzenie Komunizmu channel you can find uh, 30 episodes of this audiobook. I read already uh, 500 pages but uh, it is uh, 830 pages uh, and um, I think that it will be uh, 45 or 50, uh, 50 episodes and I would like to finish it uh, in August I have to I have to hurry because now I have good uh, possibility to record these videos and reading Capital because I am I am alone here. I am alone in France. My family is in Poland, so nobody bother me, and I can um, I can try to to concentrate. To, to very serious work. Uh, I think that there are not many, not many stuff like this in internet. I I saw the that all capital was um, already uh, made in the English language, but in other language I didn't find the, this audiobook with capital. Uh, but uh, of course th there is not stuff like this in Polish language so what is my my objective what why I am doing this uh, I am doing this of course to to promote the Marxist theory and I think that it is very important to speaking about the Marxist economic about the critique of capitalism from the Marxist perspective especially today when most of the Marxists are concentrating in the other things things which is not uh, connected with with economy uh, all these uh, identity politics all this stuff uh, which are which are uh, they try to 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 make a revision of the marxist theory and make the impression that that <coughs> the workers communist movement have to be active in the places like the uh, like the for example the movement for the uh, minority sexual um, rights where you can find in one 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 side uh, the 
multinational corporations, rich guy, the, the managers or bourgeois, people from the middle class, the petty bourgeoisie. And uh, they try to say that now it is more important than the organizing the class struggle movement, workers movement. And it is because nobody speaks about the economy from the Marxist perspective. This book is boring, this book is very, very difficult. It is very, it is very uh, hard to read it uh, alone. So I want to read it for my viewers in Polish language. But it is not all. When I will finish with reading all books, we will firstly, will firstly finish and the it will be published because the, every every episode is already published and it is published not in professional way it is uh, i am i am reading i am reading but uh, and already when i i i, I read i i published so there are the moment when i am not reading there are pauses, there are moments when I repeat something or I am <coughs> like this or other stuff. So uh, it, it will be correct, uh, but we will not delete this ep these, these episodes we, which are already published, but we will publish second version second version that uh, all this uh, capital you will find in I think five or six episodes it will be very long episodes for eight hours and or nine hours episodes uh, so it will be published in professional way with the description with every minute every second other chapter easy to find in, in YouTube but uh, um, it is one thing it is published the audiobook second thing it is uh, how to popularize how to popularize this book in the, um, in the uh, viewers of my channel viewers who are, which most of them are young and um, I will I will um, prepare the, I will prepare the, my lectures about about capital. So I will do uh, stuff. Um, uh, I will do the stuff uh, which is a little similar to to work of the David Harvey. Uh, but um, I have not not experience about speaking about capital, so I will do it in other other way. Maybe after I will repeat it. David Harvey, he made his um, lectures about capital from 50 years. He started in the 1970s and now continue every year he speaks about capital and uh, he said a lot of times that every year he made lectures about capital and every time when he read capital he finds something new for him so um, soon i will prepare the lectures about capital uh, but I think that the good lectures I will prepare next year or yeah, yeah, in 2023, 2024, we will find. Uh, and also um, now I, I, I read, I prepare the first volume of Capital, but of course uh, we will continue and, and prepare other other volumes 
Uh, but not now. I will I will make a little break. Maybe I will wait until December because my wife uh, very often uh, one one year ago in December she 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 went to to Poland because it is very important uh, holiday from Polish people in film on December finish of December this uh, Christmas is important for Polish uh, and uh, if she because it is something that I, I need to I can't I can't do stuff like this when my a little a little boy my 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 son is here it's uh, I need to be concentrated in 100 uh, percent so I will prepare uh, I will prepare the lectures about capital and uh, I will prepare it I want I don't know if, if my plan will, will work but I want to make maybe 10 or 15 lectures about uh, specific question for the capital so not uh, uh, lectures about uh, f first 50 pages next 50 pages next 50 pages I think that it is boring so I will try to find a subject subject that capit first subject which interesting me and I think it is good for the political work what are we what can we use to political propaganda first thing it is it is capital and uh, work of the work labor of the children there are many many sh many many paragraphs many many citations about the situation of the working class in the 19th century and also about working class which were very very young people the children which have 10, 10 years 9 years 8 years or even even 5 years 5 years young uh, and in this time these children worked and how it is connected with capitalism system how it is co connected also with industrialization how the using the machine making possible for the capitalists to use the labor force of the the weakest weakest uh, example weakest part of the human population so it was a problem for the men working class because the capital is starting to using the the children's and also the women's against the men because they wanted to to employ children which are more cheaper than 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 men and uh, so so i want to prepare the one hour lectures lecture maybe longer but not very longer so capital and the work of the children capital and the alienation of the workers capital and the question of I don't know slavery and uh, capital and the question of the housing market why the what was the position condition of the living for the working class in the beginning of the capitalist system working class who which before lived in the in the countries countryside in the village 
in in the houses in small villages and the conditions conditions for these people where they are li where they lived in the village was better than when they moved to the big cities and living in slums so so as you see i now i am my 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 occupation it is making this video reading the this book after i want to to make mm, this le this lectures about about the specific question in this book and uh, it will be it will be published uh, two times in the month so i want to one one weekend make a lecture about the specific question in the capital and next next weekend organize a discussion about my lecture so in this the, the discussion everybody have will have to listen specific chapters of capital which i which i published and i said for the next lesson you need to listen or read if you have book uh, this chapter or this chapter and also my lecture and we will organize this discussion discussion in the discord channel in the channel for the sympathizers of the odrodzenie komunizmu and so it will be these four things four things with how we will popularize the marxist story in polish language my audiobook uh, in 50 episodes the same audiobook prepared by the members of our party uh, more professional uh, so so it is second things third thing it will be my lectures about the specific question in the capital and the four and maybe the most important my discussion about the specific subject with the sympathizers of our youtube channel it will be open discussion so so it will be not discussion only for the members of the Polish Workers Party it will be discussion for everybody who who read read this read this chapter who want to say something in theory it is also open discussion for the anti-communist if somebody wants to speak with me about the capital he want criticize the marx and uh, uh, he won't criticize the things which he, he which he read in this book we, we can discuss but, but of course in the it ha it should be the meritoric discussion not that ah the communist uh, killed 100 million people in uh, somebody who wants to discuss about marxism in the way like this he will be banned um, very very soon but if somebody who is anti-communist wants to wants to discuss about the text it will be open so it is one thing which uh, i it is my mainly occupation now second thing which we uh, i want to say it is now the activity of the polish workers party because it is also important that we are in the processes of the creating party in 22nd in 22nd of july we published our program uh, this date is not 
we 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 choose uh, we chose this date because it is a, a independence day of the socialist poland it was the day of creation the committee of the national liberation in 20 sec 20 22 of july 1944 when in the Lublin, Lublin it is big city, not very big, but one of the biggest uh, cities in the East, East Poland. And uh, when the uh, Soviet army and also the, the Polish army, which fight uh, hand the hand with, uh, with the comrade from the Soviet Union uh, when they liberated this 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 area the new government was formed it was it is the coalitionary government we also with the member of the Communist Party Polish Workers Party it is complicated discussion uh, because uh, we have in this time we have two communist uh, in this time we have we had in Poland three three governments we can say first government it is bourgeois government in exile in London it is government which the, the they respond to to this creation of this communist government one week later organizing the uprising in warsaw uh, two year uh, two days ago two days ago we had a, a anniversary of the warsaw uprising it was it was uprising organized against german but politically it was uprising organized against communists and against the soviet union and it was the totally catastrophe the Poles was massacre, ma massacred by Germans and after uh, Hitler made a decision that Warsaw had to be totally destroyed. So the German soldiers but also the Ukrainian soldiers from the Ukrainian division of the SS, they started to destroy city building after building was exploded and and burned by the ukrainians so warsaw after this uprising was the city totally uh, totally destroyed and all people was uh, in the in the time of the liberation of warsaw it is 17 17 january 1945 in the time of liberation warsaw was a dead city all people almost all people are have to have to go out from from this city it was uh, some of the polish people were sent to 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 germany to 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 work other most of this po Polish who survived, who survived um, uh, this insurrection were in the Pruszków. They were located this temporary concentration camp. It was catastrophe. But uh, um, fortunately, few months ago, Warsaw, Warsaw was. Liberated, but but uh, mm, so we had this government in exile, bourgeois government. We had a government formed, not government. We have a coalition, coalition which is something like like a Polish parliament in the time of the occupation. Uh, it was not government. It was not parliament. In the, it was something in the middle. Its name, Krajowa Rada Narodowa. It's a, 
it's a um, national council um, national council we can say because Krajowa, Krajowa and Narodowa, Narodowa it is a little like synonym it is it is national council of the country well, I think that of the state national can, national country na, national council of the state so it was a coalition of all the leftist force which organized the struggle against the, the germans in occupation Pol in the time of the occupation but there are also the the something like the Polish government in Soviet Union. Its name is Związek Patriotów Polskich. It is a union of the Polish patriots. It is, a, as I already said, the the Lublin was liberated by the Soviet army and Polish army and this uh, Związek Patriotów Polskich was a political organization which are the ruling of this Polish army in Soviet Union Polish army which started fighting with Germans in um, they starting organizing this army in um, Oka River in, in Soviet Union it's very celebrate uh, celebrate river I I, I I I even don't know where is this this river but every 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 pole know this river because there was a camp where the where the Poles in the Soviet Union go to organize army. So they organize army, Polish army there and first battle was a battle in the Lenino. Lenino it is a village in the in the border Russian and Belarus. Uh, I forget that it is in Belarus or, or in Russia but there was a battle and uh, 12 October uh, 12 October and this battle was very very tough uh, it was 12 October 1942 this battle was very very tough many Poles died in this in this in this battle uh, but it was the first time when the Poles continued to fight in Second World War after the after the capitulation of Warsaw, and after this, Polish army continued to 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 fight with Germans. Uh, they they liberated Eastern Poland. They liberated Warsaw in 17 January 1945 they liberated they make a very tough uh, battle with Germans to the co-object city and after with this Poland start to have a, a Baltic coast in Baltic Sea and after the uh, when the most of the Poland was liberated the Polish army starting a gr growing starting growing that in the last days of the war the Polish army are it is a uh, 1 million 1 million soldiers they Many people, young people, join this, this this army. Also, the the uh, the this army was. Uh, there are also the members, uh, ex-members of this 
Armia Krajowa. Armia Krajowa, it is a guerrilla force which was alien, which was ruled by this bourgeois government, but many of these of these soldiers from the Armia Krajowa they after the liquidation of Armia Krajowa it was it was dissolved in January 1945 they they joined the Polish army and continue fight with Germans they mm, they participated in the ba battle in the Budzishen, Bautzen and also in the Berlin, Berlin battle, battle of Berlin uh, they had experienced, experienced in fighting in the city because they fight in the Warsaw Uprising against Germans two months so they know how to fight in the city it was very important uh, so, um, so why I am saying this? Because, um, because, um, I don't know why. <laughs> no, I, 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 I want to say something about activity of my party now. Uh, so we publish program. It's very good news that our party, it is not now only the people which would, we are known each other from internet and we discussed how to build party. Now we, we published a program. So it is a step for the creation party. Of course, we need to organize a, our Congress party when where this uh, program will be accepted by the members of this congress uh, and the discussion about our program it's not finished because we can continue we can change something but i think that it's you know, it is always complicated, uh, always complicated question how to how to write a program for the Communist Party because uh, the it is the question of strategy. What is our strategy, and and what is our purpose? That. Our purpose now in Poland, it is starting to build a mass communist movement. It is starting to build the real movement, movement for the for the real change. That starting to organize workers to fight and. Uh, it is a little different strategy than the st our strategy in the communist propaganda in YouTube channel. In YouTube channel, we said we organize a lot of work about theory, and when we speak about theory in YouTube channel, we can speak about everything we can speak about all details of the marxist theory and also we can say a lot of things about the history what we are thinking about the experience of the bolshevik party what we are thinking about the experience of the soviet union what we are thinking about the politic of comrade Stalin, what we are thinking about the Chinese revolution and stuff like this. And I like this discussion and I like this discussion and we had we have opinion the other Marxists from Poland they said that we are extremists, that we are Stalinist, that we promote the I don't know totalitarian society that that things which we are saying are very very radical and it's, it's true 
that in the theory in the in the theory we are radical but now we have this problem between the, um, that we have in one side experience of the achievements of the building socialism in the Soviet Union and second way we have our strategy in Poland today in 2021 and we choose after after analyzing the strategy of other communist parties other communist movements especially the strategy of communist party of Poland which are as I already said many times in my opinion it is not very active party they do nothing this is the people which do nothing and why they are not active they are not active because they 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 are cowards they don't I don't know I don't want to use a word cowards because it is word very very strong but they don't have courage to speaking about their their thoughts with the Polish people so it, it for the perspective of building the workers movement it is without sense how you want to build a movement if you have don't courage to speak with these people so the program of Polish Workers Party it is a program not radical not very radical it's radical program we have this if somebody know the Marxist theory he understand that it is radical program but we are not using very radical language we are not uh, it is not uh, in my in my speeches very often i said that we need to fight with bourgeoisie and uh, bourgeoisie have to go to prison or the labor comes and we will expropriate them and i use uh, this word very very aggressive against our class enemies enemies of our class but in this program we try to be mm, a little more how to say professional politicians so so mm, so it is our strategy it is not original strategy of us because it is the strategy of the historical polish workers party because the name of our party the name of War polish workers party it is named the party already existed in poland in uh, in 1942 until 1948 it was this party which built socialist poland it was this party which after the the unification with the polish socialist party they they built they created Polish Unified Workers Party (PZPR). So, so the strategy of the Polish Workers Party in the time of the Second World War was not speaking a lot of about the communist theory, about Marx, about the experience of the October Revolution. They are using uh, other other strategy. They are speaking about the how we need to fight with Germans, how we need to make a reform in Poland, but this reform was not very very radical. So the 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 building socialism in Poland after Second World War it was two um, two steps first steps it is the reforms after the second world war second step it is 
after 1947-48 they starting to push uh, the more radical program so so in your mind in our mind we have very radical program but our program which now we are using to the polish people for building the movement is less radical but of course when we try to compare this with the other parties uh, it is more radical okay so we published the program of our party 22 of july you have to understand uh, you have to you have to remember this date because in in socialist poland uh, everything which, which was good was also always in uh, in uh, 22nd uh, second of july the, when they try to i don't know open the new road new new train station new factory new school it uh, very often it was first uh, may or 22nd of july or uh, stuff like this <laughs> or the 7 november november the anniversary of the october revolution uh, so we continue this 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 tradition uh, so now we we organize to to campaign to campaign to build a mass movement what is our campaign um, it is campaign against the united states shortly we are using a little patriotic propaganda first thing which we which we which we organized it is the question of the of the tv station commercial tv station tvn it is the tv station which is uh, possessed by the american corporation uh, discovery i think so 100 percent of the um, of the capital in this tv station it is uh, american capital and uh, this uh, tv station are the are using by the opposition liberal opposition to spread the liberal propaganda against the conservative government in poland it is situation which exists in all colonies of the united states like latin america for example that uh, you can find uh, similarities in the in the venezuela in the time of the uh, when chavez take power when chavez take power he don't uh, um, liquidate this um, american medias and this media or twenty years after Chavez Revolution, they continue to organize color revolution, putsch, and they criticize the the government of Venezuela, Chavez and Maduro. Of course, I don't want to say that the government of venezuela government of chavez it is the same that government of kaczynski because uh, i support the government of venezuela and i don't support the polish conservative government uh, but the way of thinking of the kaczynski is that uh, 
He wants to destroy these liberal medias because these liberal media are very active in organizing movement or color revolution. We can, I think that they think about the organizing uh, the um, color revolution in Poland a little um, similar to the Maidan in Ukraine that one one side of the bourgeoisie wants to take change the power it will be not this is not the choice for the workers or communists because for our perspective uh, law and justice in the government or the liberals in, in the government is, is the same it, it's the same anti-workers politics but but for for us these politics of the polish conservative today when they starting to to make a campaign against the foreign to 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 close this tv station they said that now we need to change the regles of existence of media in poland that only media uh, possessed by the europeans can exist in poland so they didn't write it in the in this project of uh, law but everybody know that it is against the foreign so the name of this politics it is Lex Stefan. So um, the Polish conservative governments they want to they want to close this TV station and the Polish Social Democrats they they organize campaign to defend this TV liberal TV station so we Polish communists we we support the closing of this TV station of course we not support we not support um, uh, Polish government, we criticize Polish government, but uh, we organize campaign against one of the biggest TV station in Poland. Because it is not only TVN one station, it is one station, it's named TVN, but it is all um, other st TV station. It is TVN24. It is the news, uh, news uh, 20 hours, in, the, in 24 hours in day, and other stations like this. When we say TVN, it is all combined. All this combined propaganda. It's a little par. Uh, it's, it's a little like a CNN in USA. So we in the time when the Polish parliament discussed about the the liquidation of TVN we organized campaign that we also want to destroy this 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 TV station because it is a symbol of the imperialist propaganda in Poland every day they spread the propaganda and propaganda without any for example, they said that the uh, concentration camp in Auschwitz was liberated by Americans. Or when everybody, when they, they are the American crimes and the world uh, speak about this, they, they speak nothing. No. For example, when the people speak, when the other media speak, uh, sp spoke about Assange, in Tefoen, never, never they speak about the the problem of Julian Assange, which and and stuff like this. So it is very hard imperialist American propaganda, and they create a new world, new world. They organized all these, all these, um, all these TV shows, or uh, s s they produce a series where all old poles are um, are young are beautiful are um, are rich uh, all we we have a country 
if you watch the pr the production produced by TVN, you can have impression that Poland is the, the one of the richest countries in the world because every Pole is rich. So, um, so it is one thing which we which we organize now. Second thing, it is uh, um, it is a, a stupid politics of Polish government because when the Polish government organized this campaign against the FN, the relation diplomatic relation between Poland and U USA starting to ha have now they are in crisis this crisis in this relation between the government Polish government and the United States it's it is very complicated case for for Pol Poland because you have to understand that now Poland is totally isolated in the world nobody in the world have good relation with Polish government today Poland have always pr uh, bad relation with with Russia Poland had also bad relation with China because of the pressure of the United States especially in the time of Trump the Chinese wanted to have a good relation with Poland they proposed Poland to build a, a to be a part of this great project that uh, this great project uh, industry infrastructure project where the all these merchandise from from China can go to Europe uh, by the um, using the Polish train station and uh, in the center of Poland there exists uh, the city of Łódź and th there existed a big project to organize that Łódź will be the finish of this of this place it will be big logistic hub to where all these Chinese merchandise can go to Poland to Łódź and after using the Polish trucks they will be distributed in all Europe so it was very very big project and big co co collaboration between Poland and, and China but Trump said no I am not agree with this we you Poles will never never I will never accept the situation that you will collaborate it with China uh, so Poles uh, are uh, stopped this collaboration but in the time of the corona crisis they co try to continue this collaboration in one year ago the Chinese government sent to Poland the mask and other medical stuff so uh, the Poles now want to have relation with China but of course uh, it's complicated because uh, Polish government and Polish media all the time use this um, use this uh, primitive anti-communist propaganda and in the same time they try to have a good economic relation and political relation also with Chinese uh, one month ago the Polish uh, minister of the foreign affair went to China and tried to discuss with China but but uh, the relations with China are bad so we have so we have bad relation with Russia we have bad relation with China we have bad relation with all all Polish neighbors it is important that we have very bad relations with all Polish neighbors we have bad relations with Ukraine with with Lithuania and with Germany 
Uh, one of the things which is uh, which is um, um, connected these three countries is that that there are big Polish community which lived in Lithuania, Ukraine and Germany. In Lithuania and Ukraine it is the um, it is it is the Poles which are rest there uh, because uh, long years ago it was a big big uh, country which named is Rzeczpospolita. It was a Polish Commonwealth we can say. It was the union of the Poland and Lithuania and uh, it was a very big country. Uh, but the uh, Poles, Polish kingdom was the most important force in this country. So the Allies um, starting to um, change their identity, identity. They start, start the Allies starting to um, using Polish language. Uh, change religion. They starting to be Catholic, but also there there existed a um, uh, processes of the Polish colonization. The Poles from the Poland go to east to Ukraine on Lithuania and and starting to live there. And uh, of course, uh, most of these people. Uh, came to Poland after the Second World War, after all this uh, change of the borders. That, uh, but there are all the time there are Poles who rested there, and in the time of the Soviet Union, there was not, they were not discriminated. So the Poles were, were have possibility to live normal in. In the Lithuanian Socialist Republic, Belarus Socialist Republic, Ukraine Socialist Republic, and etc. Uh, Belarus, it is other problem. I will say about this later. So, so as you as you know, the government of Ukraine, it is the nationalist nationalist even fascist government in the question of the national question so they promote the ukraine language and they don't uh, have they don't uh, they are against all the minorities of course the most important they are against the russian but also they are against the Polish minority in Ukraine, which are uh, the people in the western of Ukraine. There are many people who are, the identity is complicated. They are Ukrainian, in one way they are Ukrainians, in the second way they are Poles, and there are, there are something in the middle because in the the western part of the of the ukraine especially the city of lvov uh, it was before second world war it was poland and also the city of lvov is very very important for the polish culture it is uh, no it is long con con a lot of things to say, so I, I I will not do this, but but it is important. And Vilno, also Vilno, the capital of of Lithuania, also it is important for the Polish culture. More important than that that Lvov. And in the so so in the Lithuania. In the 
the Poles, the Poles in Lithuania are living in in uh, Vilnius region in Vilno. There are a lot of Poles there. And uh, and uh, and uh, the the men uh, the, the in 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 the time of the Soviet Union the names of the street was written in Polish languages. There existed schools in the Polish language and Vilno, it is the center of the uh, for example the bigot the most famous poet of Poland Adam Mickiewicz he he was from Vilno the Józef Piłsudski the the dictator of Poland he also was from Vilno and we can find many many Polish people who came from Vilno or or, or from Lwów and now uh, the government uh, of uh, Lithuania have a politic against the uh, national minorities, also against Polish minorities, and the government government in uh, in Ukraine also have poli have politics against the national minorities, also against Polish minorities. The problem with Ukraine is bigger because it is not only the question that the Poles who lived in Ukraine don't have a possibility to go to the school. It is a question of the national identity of the contemporary Ukraine where the people like Stefan Bandera and other dirigent, uh, other rulers of the Ukrainian nationalist in the time of the Second World War, which are responsible for the massacre of the Polish people. They killed more than 100, 100,000 of Poles in the Wołyn region in 1943. It was the massacre ethnic, it was genocide. They they organized ethnic cleansing there. They killed a lot of Poles. It was July 1943. Vowin, massacre of Vowin. Uh, and they killed everybody there. They killed uh, women, babies, everybody. Maybe Later I will, I will or make a video about this. And you have to understand that Poland have diplomatic relation with Ukraine in the time when Ukraine they banned the Polish language and they built a monument of the Stefan Bandera. So they organized the politic against Poles in Ukraine. Normally, normally uh, the go patriotic, patriotic government, because this law and justice all the time, they said, "Oh, we are patriotic government. We we want to be Poles to be proud." And they want to be proud, but in the same time they they or they have good relations with the government of Ukraine, which are every day they they organize something against the Polish language, Polish culture, Polish history. So, so these relations are good because it is American, which are forbidden Poles to have. Uh, better relation with Ukraine because they try to use this against Russia against Putin because we need to help Ukraine fight against Putin in in, in Poland they did they they did they don't say president Putin when they say this all the Putin 
and it's like you, you have to understand that he is like devil, like Satan, like. So Poland have bit bad relations with 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 Ukraine, with 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 Lithuania, but also with Germans. In in Germany, it is other 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 question. There are three millions of Poles who lived in Germany. My brother lived in Germany, and uh, and um, there are, there is also the national question of the of because three million three million it is a lot of people three million. I uh, I speak earlier. I spoke earlier about Lithuania. I think that now the population of the Polish population in Germany are bigger than all population of Lithuania. So you you you, you see how many people lived in Germany. Uh, and this history of the Polish immigration to Germany is very very long. You know there are many many celebrities in the football like Podolski, Klose, which which are born in Poland and when they are children they emigrated to Germany and now they are Germans. They speak a little of Pol Polish language, but the problems with the politics of Germans is that they don't exist Polish schools with Polish language in Germany. The 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 ch Polish children are in Germany are had to had to um, learn had to learn only German language, and it is di discrimination because because other nations the 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 minorities from from. I don't know Turkey or other countries. They had they have possibility to have uh, their language, but Poles not. It's a complicated question with Germans, but with Germans there are many complicated questions because the Germans are the ruling of the Un Un Union European, and all the time they organize campaign against Poland that. <laughs> the German question is more important. It is not only the national minority in, in Germany. There are a lot of problems with Germany. So Poland have bad relations with three neighbors. Of course, we have bad relations with with Russia and Biała Russia because because of NATO. Poland had bad relations also with Czech Republic and uh, mm, because now there existed the, the mine in the city of Turów. It is a border with Czech Republic and, and, and the Czech said that is this mine in Poland that uh, pollute uh, the water in Czech and they have reason in the in the from the point of view of ecology this 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 mine it is catastrophe it's, it's it's you can you can find the 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 picture of this of this mine in Turów it is like uh, it is a mine it is a perspective like a planet of Mars that it is totally every, everything is, is destroyed there. Uh, so now this is uh, they start to accuse Poland for they want uh, money from from Poland the Czech. So we don't have big problem with Slovakia maybe but with other neighbors, yes. With other neighbors, all neighbors with Poland have have problems. Uh, we have problem with European Union. Poland have problem. The Union European Union accuse Poland that Poland it is totalitarian state, 
or authoritarian states I am agree with you uh, with this but all the European can union is authoritarian state so <laughs> it's rid ridiculous that they accuse uh, that uh, in Poland there are not democracy in Poland it is Polish uh, Polish state of course but in France in I don't know in uh, Spain and uh, it is the same thing or worse so <laughs> But yes, they, they accused, of course, there is the LGBT question, uh, of course, women rights, which is important. And so we had bad relations with Russia, we have bad relations with China, we have bad relations with Euro European Union. And uh, it is not new, it is, it is politics from very long time but we had a good relation with United States in the time of Trump because because Trump was very popular in in Poland uh, because of his of his conservatism and racism and stuff like this and in the time of the elections in the United States, the Polish government openly supported Trump. And Biden is, is not happy about this. So now the relations with Poland from, from first day, the relations between Poland and United States when the Biden became president are bad but uh, after this there are the decision of Polish government which made the this decision this this these relations are worse and also there are the decision of the president Biden when the Biden speak with Putin for Poles it is something unacceptable that they in Poland they can't understand why our the most important ally United States every Pole who loves United States and the president of United States don't want to speak with Polish president. Why? Why? And okay, you, I understand you don't want to speak with, but why you are speaking with Putin? It's not po possible that you don't speak with Duda and you speak with Putin. Why? Why? And after Biden said, okay, you can build the Nord Stream, Nord Stream uh, second, second Nord Stream. And the Poles said, oh, it is treason. The B United States now with Russia are against Poland and all this history. Also, uh, the uh, he, Biden speaks with Angela Merkel, and also they said, "Okay, if you have, because earlier, every time when Poland had problems with Germany, Poland had support of the United States. Now Biden said oh, to Germany, oh, you can you can do in Poland what do you want? <laughs> we are not against." So um, it is also question a very very complicated question. Nobody speak about this because, but you know that the 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 western when western territories of Poland, it is it is the um, it is the, uh, before Second World War it is. Uh, it was a uh, German territory and they there lived all the time people in Germany they are old but people who are born there born in Wrocław born in Szczecin born in Gdańsk born in Missouri region 
and of course they 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 remember this the palestinians which have to go out from the palestine and they lived in this exile they want to return and these germans also want to return in the time of socialist poland uh, we poland was protected by the soviet army now we are not protected by the soviet army now we are uh, our neighbor are, is the germany the very strong rich country with big population and tradition of the imperialist uh, imperialist wars and uh, if germany one day decided that they they want to take this this land they will take it now it is not important because germany control all all polish countries so they it is they don't need to take a part if they control all and the polish economy is totally controlled by the germans so uh, the the relations uh, in the from poland and uh, and germany we are totally dependent from the germans the, the Poles produce every time to the German market and with the Polish Polish salaries. The, the best example if the, is the Amazon, the, the, lo, the lo, logistic center of the Amazon are in the uh, are located in the Polish German border, but uh, the Poles who work there, they earn Polish money, not German money not euros uh, okay and and what and ah i know why i why i'm speaking this so 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 because now we had bad relations with united states uh, the polish government the polish government wants to uh, buy a uh, tanks abrams to make give money to americans and make a, a, a relations better so in the one in the same time they 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 organize the campaign against the american media but to not have problem with biden they they proposed to biden that poland will buy 2026 of the tanks of abrams it's very very expensive it is not good for the polish army and the polish army now it is totally catastrophe from the military perspective it's not good for the polish army the opinion of the polish generals is that we 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 need other things than than these tanks the mm, the decision of by of uh, by uh, buying of these tanks it is catastrophe for the polish national armament armament uh, arm industry it is catastrophe uh, um, all the decision in the capitalist poland it is catastrophe for this in this industry in the time of socialist poland in poland existed a very strong very big uh, factories produced weapons for polish army now it is it is catastrophe now we have the polish army now in have uh, six uh, six uh, kinds of tanks we have two kinds of german tanks leopard we have two kinds of, of three uh, three kinds of the tanks from the soviet union but without ammunition now the poles have uh, the poland have uh, maybe 800 tanks 
but if today tomorrow is war maybe 50 are good for fighting the other don't have time don't have uh, uh, they are not pieces to change something or uh, there are no ammunition or there are all they are not renovated it's catastrophe but uh, decision of uh, buying the american tanks of abrams is also catastrophe because uh, it we poland will be totally dependent the, the america because because we don't have pieces of this so every if something is broke broken we need to go to united states and uh, buy this there so it is political decision very very expensive in the time of the crisis of the polish hospitals of the crisis of other things and uh, it is not popular decision in poland so we organize second campaign we are against these tanks we don't want abrams tanks so polish workers party now organize two campaigns against the united states one is against the this liberal propaganda from tvn and other is against these uh, tanks abrams that we don't that we said that money to hospitals money for nurses money for workers money for the roads money for the railroad railroad money for the houses money for the schools but not for tanks we don't want tanks and also we don't want all this war anti-russian propaganda and stuff like this so we organized the first uh, small demonstration in wrocław where the leaflets about it was distributed and uh, now we are because this action was very very um, how to, the the op, the relay the um, the um, reaction of the polish society was very good for this when we seek we don't want these tanks we are agree with you so after this small demonstration in wrocław it was not this demonstration it is only the distribution of the leaflets now we will organize big committee i i hope that will, will be big it depends that other on their leftist force but this committee against these tanks uh, so we will be continue the organizing this campaign we will have leaflets speaks maybe with other leftist group in poland because all, uh, now everybody in poland have a uh, holidays they don't but the polish workers party don't have holidays we are active we are in the in the we were a little paralyzed with, with this question of the our program but now we finish with program now we can start it to political work so i will finish this conversation I made you report why I am not active now here because of capital but also because of the activity of the Polish Workers Party but I think that uh, uh, when I finish with capital mm, when I finish with recording this audiobook because it is it is important uh, i will continue to ah this this question of the organized interview with other communists other marxists also is now is complicated because 
mo many of these people are in holidays. But I think in September I will continue make a more conversation which you like, I hope. So, comrades, thanks you for listening this. Also, I apologize for my English. And long live socialist revolution. <laughs>